because we got the craziest tech of all time coming for you guys. Hey, what's up? What's up? I'm just here to watch you lose. Ow. And I hope you win. Yeah, too bad your deck sucks. It's a nice deck you got there. I was capping. It's not very nice. Oh, that's fucked up. We both know it's not very nice. That's fucked up. Guys, look at his hand. Is that, is that a nice hand? Actually, it does have the potential to be absolutely absurd. Valence? Holy fuck, this is Valence! Hey, and then hey I'm what's going up? To what's real? Go thank you, you. Thank you. I can't believe I just saw a Valence deck. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Speaking of Valence, I guess this is a good time to announce... New Valence play, my baby! Thank you. Everyone in the video should go buy it right now, right? You guys should all go buy it right now. You won, right? With Valence? Yeah, you're literally the best player in the world. You're the real pen god. I'm a... I'm the imposter. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> That's a brand new trip gaming bag. Get it? It trip gaming dot com. Stop sleeping, man. Look at it. Look Let's go. Look at those <laughs> my god. Let's go. Wow. Let's go. Epic. Let's go. I love you, Gil, man. Kind of sad I didn't come in time. I would have loved to play. Uh, as I see a rivalry of warlords. Never mind. I'm glad that I didn't come in time. Hey guys, is this magic? Yeah. Yep. Nice. The inferior game to Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> With Steven Trifonoski, True Duelist. Today's video, the balance just came out. And I'm absolutely convinced Tier Limit is by far the best deck this format after Pendulum. Snow getting banned is fantastic because now all the Bozo Tier Limit players are going to actually have to play a good version of the deck with Scareclaw. So today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly play Scareclaw, the full deck profile, and absolutely everything. So before we get into this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, but also, brand new release, baby! Wow. Playmats, the Valent Playmat, baby. Brand new, oh entrepreneurgaming.com starting right now. It's gonna be available for three more days, and for three days only. After that, it will be off, because I can't explain, I can't say why, I can't say why, but I kind of screwed up here. I did not order enough Valent mats, and I wanted it to get released two weeks ago but it came late and this, I mean, yeah so guys get your freaking valiance play mats oh only. my god triftgaming.com right exactly. remember the name uh, you nice. heard it That's you nice. heard it factuality you guys gotta right. get it right now and with that being said after you guys go get your play mat, i'm gonna show you guys right now how to play tailman post balance it's a whole new way to play it it's incredible you guys need to stay tuned to the whole video see it let's get straight into the video so first All things right. first you play three tailman sheeran three tailman happiness three tailman merley now, for those that saw my video before, with these, there's no snow anymore. So you need, if you guys saw my last list, I actually played no Rhino Heart and no Merley because you also play the Brave Package. You need to play the Brave Package even more than before. The fact that this is not touched on the ban list is absolutely insane. Like, I cannot, yo, Milano. Yes. So you work at 401 Games. I do work at 401 Games. I asked Milano for a few cards. I'm not going to say which ones they are. They're for some um, insane new decks this format. But I forgot to mention, do you have a collector's rare version of this set? Uh, yeah, we do actually. I think we, we do have the, uh, the the Enchantress. Do you have the right and all that? No, not three of each. Oh, okay. Because I, I got to get it. Because this is just the best engine in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. The fact that it went untouched is absurd. Like, I don't think you guys understand. Well, let's see your package. Let's see if it's correct. Let's see. You got three three uh, I, water. I, I will get to the spells after, but we are only playing two right. Not for the reason why we mill a billion. So you don't want to like just mill uh, end up that, milling yes. like double Enchantress, so hard drawing a right and a griffin or something. So you always get access to the, the enchantress. That's the beauty of this deck. You mill 11 times guaranteed with uh, potentially curious now sending enchantress always because no snow. But I'll get to the whole combo at the end. But before we did not play a, a rhino or this, but now with snow, I recognize that without snow, let's 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 mill, oh, like these are all three ups, right? So you're guaranteed to hit some assortment of these 12 all the time and hard drawing them makes rhino insane. So basically the idea is that you want to mill all four of these in every single turn. Whichever one, out of, you mill 11 every game, so out of, whichever one of these are guaranteed, maybe out of the 11, you mill maybe these two. And then Kit always gets the Rhino Heart to mill one that you're missing, and the Curious sends the fourth. So like, the idea is to trigger four at all times, and the math says that if you're milling specifically 11 times, which is how much you mill every game through the combo, you are always going to uh, hit two of these, so that's the idea. Essentially gets to four. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, and even if you mill just one of them, it doesn't matter because you mill the other two purposely. And with Vice's Star Frost, you also guarantee getting all four effects. Vice's Star Frost. Yes, yes sir. Vice's Star yes, Frost. Sir. Three Vice's <laughs> Star Frost. No way. Yes, sir. Vice's Star Frost actually ends up being one of the strongest cards in this deck because we upped the tier limit count to max. 
now it makes it this is a card that your opponent cannot see coming your opponent's always playing around tailor mains they're gonna go dweller and all this nonsense this gives you an extra line through dweller it gives you an extra line through your opponent's interruptions they're not expecting and it gives you a free baron in the combo because you don't have snow you need to make sure your end board is very powerful now and that's exactly what this does My so goodness. and because you always your normal summon in the deck is Merly. so when you summon Merly at like elf Merly bring it back Merly effect mill again and then you buy stop a special that's destroyed trigger the Merly, and then especially some other stuff out you do some absolute shenanigans and no one sees it coming and in fact even if they find a way to stop it you can always also tribute summoning it is a huge play because the deck really never normal summons no Merly is your normal summon and how, like on what earth is Merly a normal summon it's not Literally so not, it, yeah. like you you never normal summon in this deck why stop process is absurd <laughs> two scare call right card these are if anything the normal summons but again you don't have any normal summons like you'll, you'll go into the vice star for us i'll show you the guys the combo down in another, another video i actually got a lot of messages since my last video trip bro what's the car scarecrow combo what's the scarecrow combo i just assumed people were smart enough to recognize it i recognize that you guys are not no offense but i will show you guys the full combo it, it's very intricate like i was it, not i was not smart enough to find out the scarecrow combo yo my man's so. lyric messaged me lyrics my yeah boy. yo he messaged me he's like yo do you know steven's combo and i'm like no i don't you, you want me to ask him yeah so, so the reason why that this combo differs going first and going second so if i were to show you now like it's a different combo going first and a different combo going second the one going second gives you curious but with baron the floor and curious before curious resolves so you trigger a tier limit the baron protects the curious if they want a hand trap if they save a hand trap or whatever thing they have and then you trigger the curious set a tier limit make kit add rhino everything and then whenever you make another tier limit you go baron to pop it so you actually trigger three tier limits to just one one scare claw mm. trigger three tier limit and a curious in the field eventually going up into access code of baron which is 8300 damage so it's also otk going second that's combo going second i'll show you guys in a later video going first uh you'll need you could still do the combo but you have to get uh link into like a mascarena or a dark and you go curious but it doesn't have the baron but it's still one card curious depending on what you set up so yeah this is a scare claw count and what, you also because of the field spells you also have a lot of ways to get into them and then one soul is one illusion uh absurd in this deck because they're all searchable spells and uh the danger count you just play five you're only playing it because it's an aqua if it wasn't an aqua i would not be playing the dangers yes it comes up because you're playing a lot of grave effects that's cool and all but i'm not trying to teal them and get rid of a card from my hand they're just aquas that's the and of course they're just good cards in general so just these five mothman and bigfoot are literally ass just don't play them and one Griffin Rider, Illegal Knight. I go, went back and forth playing it, but Ooh, that's what I was kind of hoping for. I was hoping to see the Illegal Knight. Yeah, yeah. it was honest. Tr to be honest, if there's 42 cards in my de so, uh, this is a 41 card deck, if there's 42 cards, it would be the Illegal Knight. I was going back and forth playing two with substituting for the Griffin Rider, and just make sure to always keep the Griffin Rider or Illegal Knight in your hand, unless you're playing a deck that you don't play hand traps. And typically, you go Apollosa anyways as soon as before Nibiru hurts you. Uh, for a Nibiru to hurt, but it is very nice and simplified game stage to have a negate when you go for a game. Like, he is going second, is yes, Legion Knight does put in work, but because his deck has so much gas, you set up the negate and then go for a game after the negate is there. So that's mm. why I prefer that one. But it, a Legion Knight does have insane values, especially being dark and especially its purpose is going second to bounce stuff. The field spell count, Mystic Mind is not banned, so I decided to play one of this. Before I was only playing, th I was playing three field spell, but I just removed it for this package. To have the access to go into one of three field spells is absolutely absurd and it is overall better than this this is one extra spell that i used to play i used to play 13 now i'm playing 14. i understand eradicators a, a card post side deck you side out nine spells out of the 14. so if your opponent eradicators you you side out all the nine spells you let literally let them eradicate you you don't give a fuck whatsoever so the the, the spells eradicators in mind of this i know there's 14 spells it seems like a big number few are chainable but the, you're just siding up the spells when you face this deck anyways and it's a little more difficult for decks to go into eradicator so it's okay and uh yeah and uh, you could change that rotation so it's actually basically the same spells as before but uh yeah to be able to go into any of these and also play three defensive cards in a deck that draws a lot and uh, has the capability to go into them is very powerful uh and yeah so you're you're playing four field spells not two you're playing four of this four mystic mind outs this is huge against mystic mind you set this at the end phase see you later to their mystic mind you have to respect mystic mind all these are outs to mystic mind you must respect that card because people are playing it instead of crying about it and being a little a baby uh, i'm allowed to say a pussy on youtube instead of being a pussy being like oh my god mystic mind i hate this game and everybody's game bro just 
Like, like just be prepared. Literally, bro. just be. I, like, I can't. I cannot fathom to understand how players enter tournaments knowing that Mr. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Jesse. Shout out to Jesse. <laughs> Jesse's the goal. Oh my God, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse's the goal. Uh, and uh, two right, one faithful, one Draco back. I would play if this is a normal deck. You must play three right and the foolish to get to get the enchantress. But because you mill eleven times in your turn and you're purposely sending the enchantress, if you don't open it, we're curious. You, I mean, it's always there. Playing one right is more correct than playing three right in this deck. Uh, yeah, it, just don't play three right in this, please. You mill it all the time. It's just actually redundant. It's only two because it's just, of course it's a good card to open. Like that's just the only reason. Otherwise, I actually would prefer one. If you like, if you, like, you always get it. Two is fine. And then one instant fusion. These are all really good spells that, in general, it's just super copium to remove because of Eradicator. They're just crazy good. Like these are engine. I'll show the siding patterns afterwards. And then two Scareclaw Arrival. Mandatory to play two, not one, because you mill one and the Scareclaw Engine is dead. You play, you mill one field spell, Scareclaw Engine is dead. So you need to play two of each of them to ensure you don't mill it. And obviously you go for these first. So I know you didn't mill 11, you might mill both, but typically you start off with maybe three mills. Shearing is obviously the first card you want to activate. So you maybe go for three mills. You're not going to mill two of them in the three. The second you get rid of the first, when you see one, you instantly go for the combo at the end instead of saving it for the very end. And post side deck, here's what you do. I, uh, you need to play two, but post side deck when you face Eradicator or Eradicator only. Against any other deck, you keep two of each. But against Eradicator decks, you side up literally every single spell that's not searchable. If it's not searchable, it's not in the deck. Uh, everything. All field spells. These are the only, yeah, all these are gone. All copies of, of Kill Limit Field Spell. The only ones you keep are the ones that are searchable. Oh, sorry about this. There we go. Uh, these are searchable by all five monsters in your deck. So you just keep one of each of these and one of each of these because they're all searchable. Even if they were to mill send this, it doesn't matter. You're getting it back with Enchantress. So it's the same shit, really. But uh, these four, you cannot remove. They're searchable. Your entire deck's revolved around them. If I could remove them, I would. So now let them eradicate you. You have five spells and 35 monsters. They wasted their eradicator for nothing. And you're going to absolutely cook them. With not no snow, either you just got to deal with a dweller. The side deck deals with that. And you're, now you're just dealing with one dweller. Bro, the deck obliterates that. This deck plays around dweller insanely well. 41 cards in the deck. If there's a 40 second, it'll be a legal night. But I'm trying to cut it to 40. I actually just cannot without removing good cards. Extra deck now. Now I play Sprite Elf. The reasoning behind Sprite Elf is uh, without snow, I would really like to end with Havness in hand and uh, it's more tier limit based now uh, compared to my last version you guys saw. I'm always trying to uh, mill 11 on the opponent's turn. One have with Havness and Murley, I want to mill on the opponent's turn to send more tier limits. I'm playing max out of tier limits now. So you want to try and get the set, get the set up with the Havness in hand. Uh, at all times, you blind dweller at all times as well. It's mandatory in this one deck. One light to blind heart dweller. is enough. Sorry. One light heart. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. One light heart is enough in this version. There are scenarios where two comes up because you just get the free add at the end. But uh, it's also a little bit win more in this version because there's so many cards in the extra deck you need to put in. But if Konami randomly released the rule of twenty extra deck cards, I'm playing two of these. Uh, this is your end board you're prioritizing on. Elf Mascarena, blind dweller, uh, bear, and some form of negate whether it's Griffin or, or bear in the floor. And it's always uh, Havness in hand. Always try to go over Havness in hand. This de version does not play Saliak because it's, I only want cards going second that are break boards. Going second, I have zero cards in my hand left. They break the board and they make a board. I have no interest in any card that stops me from playing a card to stop cards going second. Saliak, I would only play going first. And the deck's already absurd going first. So there's no point. I also decided not to main deck Eradicator. I do not think Dark Ruler is whatsoever, like you're, only, you're a bozo if you main deck Dark Ruler. No offense to everyone behind me that is probably doing so because it's just gonna get eradicated. It's pointless. So if you're facing someone who doesn't recognize that, you're gonna win by simply being better than them. So, and I know that a good player would not do that. So I'm okay with not playing this. In the future, people recognize that Dark Ruler get eradicated and recognize there's no place in their deck. Now, post side deck, maybe they I still wouldn't even side deck Dark Ruler, but if they do play the Dark Ruler, now you're prepared for it because you're Eradicator uh, post side deck. So, uh, or a point in Red Lotus. I'm still back and forth with both, but I think Eradicator is just insanely better. So, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, so, you're yeah, coming from the Runic Mind player. What do you think of Eradicator? Uh, that card's terrible. Don't even play it. <laughs> Uh, yo, good news for you though. Spell counts is a lot more difficult to make now because Dugaris can't use yeah. the Woo! So you do have Eradicator to deal with because you just curious Griffin. It's okay, I'll draw Metaverse. Exactly, so you're fine. Exactly. You're fine. That's fine. But having a combination of both is like insanely difficult for your. Uh, no, I mean, it's not winnable. If you summon Spell Cancer, the duel is over. Yeah. And now for this, yes, yeah, so these are the Link 2s that you play. 
And uh, the, the Link 3s are one curious, one Celine. Despite snow being gone, that makes Celine absurdly good. You're still playing nine search. Well, you're getting Enchantress every game, which means you're getting right, which means you're getting Fateful, which means you could get another Enchantress to always have Celine going. So if you see a game shot, uh, you go for Enchantress to get Celine. It comes up a lot. My Fateful searches Enchantress over Griffin a lot. Uh, before when you used to play area that was a huge I don't play. see anybody do that more than you. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it does come up. This is a play, especially with souls and illusion. Uh, souls gets milled, or if you have souls in your graveyard, you Celine special it back. Almost makes you want to play double souls, but post side deck when you remove the spells, like this is this these ratios. You have no idea how much they have, how much they've been perfected over thousands of duels. I would love to play more souls. I would love to play even more dangerous. But post side deck, you just need to remove the spells against Eradicator to make it. So, so your sphere mode and lava golem are also live. So you also have to remove like one normal sphere summonable mode card. And lava golem. Yeah. So post geez. side deck, it's like like it's perfect ratios to the point where you have no normal summons post side deck and no spells. So you just obliterate all these decks. Uh, so yeah, that's yeah, the idea. Where's that? Where's those other? Oh, you're in the extra deck right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost done extra deck. Got now. excited when I heard sphere mode lava golem. <laughs> And extra deck, one axis, one Apollos, and one top of logic. Bomber. So, Bomber is better than zero Boros without snow because you don't have 30 banished cards anymore. Gizmag is great to play. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing card. However, uh, you are playing too many one ofs with Enchantress Package, Fateful, Draco Pack, one of Scare Clock cards. You, it, it's, you are forced to build your deck too much around the Gizmag. And now, full side deck when you're only playing one of each of them where you just hope that like they don't get milled or something. Uh, Gizmic is insane copium with that and Gizmic's only insane when you don't care about using its effect so Gizmic is crazy but just in this deck maybe not so if you're playing Gizmic play zero Boros but if you're not playing zero Boros if you're not playing Gizmic play Bomber because there's a combo which I'll show later which is an infinite interruption combo where you end on Elf and Masquerina it's infinite interruption combo if they don't have a way to deal with Bomber infinite interruption because you go Elf, Masquerina, trigger the Murley, Murley under the Bomber, trigger the Havness uh, Havness is in hand like Okay, Kalos, uh, all of it's triggering. Add another card in hand, get another card in grave. It's like we're talking about like eight interruptions. So uh, just from one mask out. Uh, so that's why you need to do that. Those are the nine links. It's a link that's climb. That's spicy. I cannot deny. Nine link spicy. climb deck. You gotta gotta put them on like you better like have enemy control or triple tactics or else you lose a duel. So it's like I'd rather have something that's unfair. It's like a scythe basically. You need to deal with it. You need to have the answer to the scythe that you lose. You need to have the answer to Miss Minor, you lose. You need to have the answer to six interruption, one card, Mascarena, or you lose a duel. Let them have it, it's fine. But I mean, like, at least put yourself in a position to be able to have an un unfair yeah. auto-win card for one Link 2. So, uh, Dweller, Baron, I used to play Dugaris. Dugaris is absurdly good because you have right card, you have the greatest card ever, Snow, and all that. Sheeran, uh, Mud Dragon, but now that there's no Snow, your access to rank four has dwindled uh, dramatically. So I'm just playing one Dweller and one Baron. Baron comes up a huge amount. You do oh, wow. must you must set up a, a negate before you go for a game, whether it be Griffin, Baron, or Apaloza. Not ironically, all of these are all wins. So people are still playing Super Poly. Uh, so uh, rather than playing into Super Poly, only end on one of these or keep Griffin in hand, and then after like you yeah on the negate, resolution you drop yeah, it yeah exactly. Uh, so. Uh, recognize that they're all wins uh, there are some scenarios where literally all three hit the board and literally even if they have super poly they still fucking lose <laughs> so it doesn't matter if you're able to set everything up with all of these with dweller with masquerade and elf underneath this happens it's very doable with broken hands it's what the deck does when you summon 18 times that's fine just do it let them super poly you they're still in dweller they're gonna be at four cards and still dealing five negates but uh, unless you can set up all three just don't set up two of them you'll get cooked and the fusions these three, and I put Draco Sapelli in because we have so many tier limits that it does come up a lot now in, a, in simplified game states especially. There's no room for Collado in this version because it's not reliant on Saliak. If I play Saliak, I will play Collado. Saliak's the 43rd card in this deck after Legal Knight, and Collado would be here. But And then the next cards would be Droplets in the main, but there's just literally, you do not need any defensive card. You already played three defensive cards, but only one because it's not a brick in the Mystic Mind. Just one Mystic Mind by itself. Terraforming Star Attention going first or offensive. And there's a three uh, for one value right there. Yeah, it's huge value to be able to search whatever you want. And uh, yeah, that's the deck, guys. I will showcase a deck profile and duel later on this week. You guys need to look out for that video because this is like absolutely absurd for this deck. Like, very vital that you guys know how to play this version because the best way to play Tier by a landslide is not close. I saw what Bar was doing. You lost the Ignites, right? Um. Adding Mister, adding Mister, yeah, that wouldn't have happened. We played Scareclaw. Damn, I was watching. Bar, you need a Scareclaw core? Um, I got one for you, bro. I got you, bro. I got you, I got you, bro. I got you.
<laughs> guys, you guys need to play it. It's absolutely insane. And I'd like to give a big shout out right now to Milano. We're filming the deck profile. Hey, bro, my That's pleasure. my boy. I'd like to give a big shout out to Sp Sparta King. Yeah, I get you. Ready to go. <laughs> and a big shout out to my mats, guys. I'm telling you, it's the most beautiful. Jeez. I really like it. I wish Valence were good. Guys, I'm not going to cop. Yo, there was a Valence player. There was earlier. a Valence player today. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Bro, I walked in. I see an Odd Eyes versus Valence match. Damn, bro. You should have I just, I didn't see the duel. I just chose a table. This is the second time this happened to me. At, at, dude, at the YCS, I was kind of tired, so I sat down, I look up, I see Logan dueling a Zephyr player. I look to the left, I see a Magician player. Bro, like, it's I don't know. beautiful. Bro, God is real. That's They're calling, he's calling you, bro. It, he's it like, is. yo, where's the tier limit? Pendulum, guys. Yo, how many likes does this video get? Uh, I'm going to say 500. 500? 500. Let's say 1,000. 1,000? So if this video gets 1,000 likes? If this video gets 1,000 likes, I promise you guys, I'll find some way to make Valence good. It's going to be really tough. Yo, I have, a, I have a sick I'll goal. I have a sick goal. What's that? If it gets to 2,000 likes, and maybe that's a lot, but if he gets 2,000 likes, you bring one of these mats for that guy that was playing Valiant. Deal, deal, He's done, a Valiant done, fan, done. bro. He's if just it hits 2, 000, about it. I'm going to get him a Valiant mat. Hey, okay, guys. Done. Make sure to like this video. Thank get him guys. that mat. Thank you, guys. I'll let you guys see you in the next video. Peace.